shows why he is the consummate champion as he finds a must strike here in the ninth. He needs this one to force Jim to get a mark in the tenth. Now one more and Godman will have to get a strike to win the Masters. There it is. With the title on the line, Godman comes up short, leaves the 5-7, and Earl Anthony has won the 1977 ABC Masters and the top prize of $6,500. Final score, Earl Anthony, 802, Jim Godman, 781. Now, He's been in, Chris, all the events he's won. Mm -hmm. He's never come to a position as important as this in anybody's career. This is the biggest tournament, and for Albie, he could close out the triple crown. Must strike on the next two balls. There's one. The triple crown. Won by only three players. First, Billy Hardwick. And Johnny Petraglia and Pete Weber. But I don't think, Chris, we've ever seen one ball thrown with more importance no. other than a perfect game. But to win a tournament than this particular ball coming up. Not only this tournament, but for the Triple Crown. And for his mindset of the future. He's had a tough couple of years. should know that Mike Alvey is a pressure player. He went to won 22 championships, though. Chris, he threw the ball, first ball perfect. He got just a, a little break, but that's what you need to win all the titles. Right now, he needs a mere four pins. That's it. That's it. The trophy, 60000 $16,000 Bayliner boat and a triple crown ring. There it is. And Tammy is crying, and why not? John Petraglia, one of the four, just congratulated him. And there is Tammy and CJ Christopher. So it's a 237, a five pin. What a big one for the TFC honor. The third time you've done it. Don Carter, the defending champion, only three-time winner of the All-Star. And that is a strike for Don Carter. Boy, that one really finished, didn't it? Two more! Belmonte strike up. Leads by four, can extend his lead. Sixth frame in the title match. Nixing gets the seven pin to fall. Well, he's going to the air now on that right lane. He's trying to walk around the bar return and then give it some loft. Belmonte will have to finish on this lane. Look at he slides right in front of the, the foul light cover. But there's the great pin action from six there. Only three strikes for Belmonte in this title match. Only two strikes for A.J. Johnson. Belmonte looking to do what has never been done in the history of this tournament, and that is to win back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Masters titles. Mike Albee has three Masters titles, but not consecutively foundation frame. Packs the pocket. Well, and that was a big strike because now no matter what A.J. Johnson does in the ninth and 10th frame, he cannot shut out Belmonte. If Belmonte didn't strike there, A.J. Johnson could have won this. Question is, can Jason do that on the right lane? 
Well, you heard AJ just say these got bad, and he's right. And, you know, it, it's just an incredibly difficult position to put a young man in who's never pulled on television before. And then, and then you throw him on a pair of lanes that have really gotten extremely difficult. And a 10-pin late for good measure. Jason Belmonte will host will hoist the trophy for the third straight time. Looking to keep the string alive, and he does. Pete Weber waltzing to victory number 19. It's closer to his dad's 26 all the time. Boy, look at how much he's swinging that ball out. What a great shot that is. I want to is. talk about coming off the hand clean. Oh. Huh? That thumb's out for about a half a second, and those fingers are still in there. And look at how much more relaxed his dad looks now. It's a chance. A lot of room. He's happy with just that. He says, I can make that. Made it twice already in this game, and I can make it. But he's got to. He doesn't make it. Sullivan's could stand up. In the 10th frame, they get two in the 10th and win this title. Steal it, actually. Very little time. Hard and straight. But that, see, that right there is what you pay for. When you put your money down, you can in, to, to throw a shot, hit the pocket, or throw a quality shot like that when a title is on the line and leave a 10-pin walk up there and just drill it. I mean, that, that's, that's what it's all about out here. I mean, that's serious pressure. That's a Weber. Yeah, well, that's a winner. I mean, no matter who it is, when you see that, that's, you know, that's, that's professional bowling at its finest. That's not an easy thing to do. Pete taking a good look at the board. He needs five, six. Johnny Petraglia, our statistician this week, PBA Hall of Famer, says he needs half a dozen to lock it up. And a strike will do just fine. Harry Sullins, a gutsy performance. He hung in there to the bitter end and had an outside chance, but Pete Weber comes away with the Bud Light Touring Players Championship with a wonderful 219 game.